YouTube and welcome back to Jack's Book Reviews. Today I'm going to do something completely different. I got a request to do a read aloud. Thanks for the suggestion, Mrs. Harris. A big shout out to Mrs. Harris's class, wherever you are. Who would win? Killer Whale versus Great White Shark. What would happen if a killer whale met up with a great white shark? What if they had a fight? Who do you think would win? Scientific name of a killer whale, Orsinus orca. Meet the killer whale, also known as an orca. It is a sea mammal. It breathes air through its blowhole. On the top of its head, just like you, the killer whale has lungs. They hold their breath underwater. Killer whale nicknames, blackfish, orca, sea wolf, and killer of whales. Scientific name of great white shark. Carcharodon Carcharius. Meet the great white shark. It's a huge fish that can't survive out of water. Sharks and other fish don't breathe air. Fish get oxygen from water that flows through their gills. Like most sharks, the great white has five gill slits. Great white shark nicknames Maneater, Tommy, White Pointer, and White Death. The killer whale has a huge jaw full of about 50 teeth. The teeth can be almost four inches long. Did you know if the killer whale loses an adult tooth, it doesn't grow back? The great white shark has a gigantic mouth full of several rows of razor sharp teeth. It's scary just to look at them. Did you know if a shark loses a tooth, another tooth takes place? During a shark's life, it can lose more than 3,000 teeth. The killer whale's dorsal fin looks like these. On a male killer whale, the dorsal fin can be up to six feet tall. Killer whales can be found in all oceans. Male and female great white sharks have dorsal fins that look the same. Great white sharks are also found in all oceans. Killer whales are meat eaters. Their favorite foods are seals and sea lions, but they also eat salmon and other fish. The killer whale is king of the food chain. It has no natural enemies. The ocean is more like a food web than a food chain. In the ocean, everything eats almost everything else. Great white sharks eat fish, but they also have been known to eat seals, sea lions, and even sea turtles. Now and then, they eat a few people. Dun, dun, dun! The great white shark is also high on the food chain. It is the largest predatory fish. Tiny plankton is eaten by small fish. Small fish get eaten by bigger fish. Bigger fish get eaten by larger fish, and so on. A male killer whale is, a, is bigger than a female killer whale. A female is about four feet shorter. The female great white shark is bigger than the male. Females are wider and about three feet longer. Killer whales have bones. This is a killer whale skeleton. Great white sharks do not have bones. Shark skeletons are made of cartilage. Feel your own ear. It's made of cartilage. Although they are huge, killer whales can jump completely out of the water. Wow, great white sharks can jump completely out of the water too. In a fight, who do you think would win? A killer whale or a great white shark? So, look at the facts. Who do you think has an advantage? Who would win? Like other sea mammals, killer whales have a horizontal tail. Like other sharks, a great white shark has a vertical tail. Killer whales have no ears. They bounce sounds off of approaching fish. They use sonar to navigate, to locate other creatures in the ocean, and find each other. They recognize echoes and other vibrations in the water. This is called echolocation. 
great white sharks have a keen sense of smell. They can also detect the electricity in fish and other animals. They can tell if you're nervous. Bonus fact, sonar is an acronym. Sound, navigation, and ranging. Some marines also use sonar, but nature had it first. Bass use sonar too. Did you know sharks can smell blood from three miles away? Underwater, you look like this to a killer whale. Underwater, the great white shark senses your electricity. Killer whales are family oriented. They live in groups called pods. Killer whale moms, dads, aunts, uncles, cousins, and kids each swim and play together. They look out for each other. Great white sharks are loners. Two and three have been seen hunting as a team, but mostly they travel, hunt, and eat alone. Killer whales can stop swimming and tread water in the same place. They can swim up to 30 miles per hour in the ocean. That's fast. Great white sharks never stop swimming. Seawater must flow through their gills so they can get oxygen. They cruise along at about 2 miles per hour, but speeds up and bursts into 20 miles per hour. A killer whale's brain looks similar to a human brain, but it's three times larger. Killer whales are extremely intelligent. A great white shark does not have a round brain. It has different sections connected together. Scientists it is shaped think like every section y. is connected to a different sense. A killer whale can be captured, live in captivity, and train to be performed tricks. Killer whales are stars at aquariums and amusement parks. Great white sharks have never been able to survive long in captivity. Hollywood loves to make movies about them. Great white sharks are movie stars. So, what would happen if a killer whale and a great white shark met in the ocean? What if they were the same size? What if they were both hungry? What if they had a fight? Uh-oh, they're in the same place in the same time. They sense each other. There is an intense competition in nature. They're each planning their attacks. Great white sharks like to attack from below. Killer whales like to attack from any side. They are getting closer than the fight happens. Dun 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 dun. Crunch! The great white shark makes the first move. It tries to attack with its sharp teeth. The killer whale outsmarts the shark and bites it. One, two, three seconds. The fight is over. There is no contest. The ferocious great white shark doesn't know what hit it. The killer whale won today. What do you think will happen the next time a killer whale meets it? Great white shark. Do you think the shark can overcome the killer whale's superior intelligence? Bye YouTube, hope you like this book. Bye Mrs. Harris's class. Thanks for watching.